Hi and welcome to the quick start tutorial for Circle Rig Pro. After installing the script, go to Window and click on Circle Rig Pro. You will get this nice looking compact UI which is fully responsive so it will perfectly fit into every workspace. To arrange your layers in a circle, select them and click on the plus. A new circle control layer will be created which contains all of our effect controls and the layers are parented to it. We can then easily rearrange them by selecting one or more layers and using these two buttons to move them clockwise or counterclockwise. To rotate all the layers at once, we can just select everything and click on the button. If you happen to select layers that are not part of a circle rig, they will just be ignored. If we select two layers, we can swap their positions with this button. This also works when selecting multiple pairs at once. To remove layers, we simply click on the minus and they will be moved to the top left corner of the composition. To add layers to an existing circle, select the layers and the circle control layer of the circle rig that you want to add them to. Then click on the plus. I have prepared some more icons to show you that if you don't select a circle control layer, but only select the layers and then click on the plus, it will create a new circle rig. The controls are very versatile, so you can swap layers between two different circle rigs. Add a layer from one circle rig to another. Move layers from different circle rigs at once. Or select layers from different circle rigs to create a new one and all of them will be updated. Let's have a look at the effect controls. We can change the radius. There are separate controls for X and Y, which is handy for social media videos with different aspect ratios. We have an offset control using degrees and an offset control using steps. If you have a look at the position of this icon, if I type in 1, the icon moves exactly one step to the right. If we keyframe this value, we have an animation where the icon moves one step to the right. Now, if I remove several layers from the rig, the gap between two icons increases, but the icon still moves forward exactly one step. This is super useful for creating carousels where the number of images might change later on. We have start and end sliders. As we drag the start slider, you can see how it slowly moves to complete a full circle. We can come to the options and change the distribution method from default to stationary. Now as we drag the start slider, the last icon doesn't change its position anymore. Let's set the start and end sliders to 0 and 50. As you can see, we don't get a perfect half circle. Let's change the distribution method to close gap. Now the result is what we expected. Let's enable the radius offset. With these controls, we can create some spirals. Use the start and end sliders for even more control. We can set the radius for even and odd layers separately. or randomize all layers. Under C offset we have the same controls but for 3D layers. Select all layers using command or control A and make them 3D. Now we can move the layers in 3D space. Scale and opacity sliders influence all the layers at once. 
but you can still select a single layer and even though they have expressions applied to them, you can still change the value. The overall scale and opacity sliders take those changes into consideration. By the way, you can also freely move and keyframe the position of all the individual layers. To reset the position, just type in 0 in the position value. By default, the layers are oriented upwards, no matter if you offset them or rotate the circle control layer. Under Orientation, we can offset the rotation. Set the orientation to auto-aligned so all layers will look outwards. Or set it to target layer and choose a layer it should always point to. Of course, all the orientation options also work with 3D layers. To show you this, let's quickly swap the arrows for squares and then making all of the layers 3D. So by default, they will always look upward, no matter how I rotate the circle control layer. With 3D layers, we can also offset the X and Y rotation. If we switch to auto-aligned, the layers will face outwards. Using the rotation offsets, we can get some interesting results. The front and back side of an image is always the same. To give it more depth, we can enable backside color. We have options to change the color, flip the backside, or hide it completely. Enable Wiggle and your layers will randomly move around. You can set how strong and fast it should wiggle. By default, the wiggle will loop after 12 seconds. Let's set this to 3, as our composition is 3 seconds long. As we play this near the end, you can see that it perfectly loops. By default, the layers will wiggle in all directions, but we can change this by simply checking and unchecking these checkboxes. This way, we can make the layers wiggle in only the Y direction or only the X direction. Checking Wiggle Radius will move them in and out. Let's enable Effector Controls. Here we can select a layer that will affect various properties of the other layers, depending on the distance between them. We have settings for the effector size and falloff, as well as the different properties that should be affected. Let's say we want to scale up the layers as the cursor comes closer to them. It's as easy as that. This way we can easily animate radial designs and user interfaces, but also scale the front layer of an image carousel, for example. We can also affect multiple properties at once to get the desired result. To make it easier to animate the cursor, we can add it to its own circle rig and keyframe the offset slider. In this example, I added some keyframes to the radius slider. The animation looks like this. Under time delay, I can set the time delay to let's say 3 frames to get a cool looking staggered animation in just a few clicks. We can change the delay order to counterclockwise 
or random. Time delay doesn't just work with radius, but with all of these properties. Circle Rig Pro works with all layer types, shape layers, imported footage, null objects, lights if you want to attach lens flares or use them as particle emitters, and even 3D objects. The only limitation is that with lights and 3D objects you can't use time delay, but you can easily get around that by using null objects and then parenting the lights or 3D objects to the null objects. I hope this tutorial was helpful and I can't wait to see the incredible animations you will create with CircleRig Pro. Thanks for watching and I will see you in another video.